Before you start working on the openings, remove the roof for now. You'll work on it later. Simply move the top edge down to hide the roof. Next, you add edges to the openings. The modeling ribbon has a wealth of features for polygon modeling, but you'll only need a few of them. In this case, start with the Swift Loop tool. The Swift Loop tool adds edges to the editable poly surface by drawing a loop from one edge to another. Drag over the facade near the top edge. 3ds Max constructs a vertical edge. A click confirms the position. The Swift Loop is always constructed at a 90 degree angle from the closest edge to the cursor. This way, you can alternate between vertical and horizontal loops to trace the contours of openings, starting with the top windows. Determining the boundaries of doors and windows becomes very easy that way. Some areas, such as the beams above the doorways, are a bit irregular and will require some adjustments. Switch to vertex mode and move vertices to follow the irregular lines of the beam. You can insert additional swift loops or use the cut tool to add extra detail. The cut tool's cursor displays differently when you hover over a vertex, an edge or a polygon. In this case, you're breaking the quad integrity of the mesh as you end up with multi-sided polygons. This is acceptable for facade modeling, but not recommended for organic models that need to be subdivided or deformed. If necessary, make a few adjustments to the vertical lines around the doorways. In Polygon mode, start selecting the window openings. Use a small negative extrusion to give them depth. Do the opposite with ledges and beams by giving them a small positive extrusion. Finally, Select the doorways and extrude them further into the building. Because of the perspective captured by the camera, moving the left vertical edges helps with the texture projection onto the left hand door jams. The right hand door jams don't look as good and will require more work later on. Keep on making small adjustments until you're happy with your model and then save your file. In part 4, you build the roof and add depth to the building.